Do you know the famous Telegram was once accused of having illicit transactions, drug trafficking, fraud, and the spread of child sex abuse images on the site? Last August, Pavel Durov, the founder, was arrested in France on suspicion but was soon released to fly back to his home in Dubai. I know, he is that rich, rich. But that's not the reason. Telegram's not totally lawless after all. It joined the Internet Watch Foundation, hands over user data when legally required, publishes transparency reports, and yeah, admits that dealing with harmful content is still a headache for every platform. But here's what makes it strange. Telegram runs without ads, it runs without algorithms, and it runs with only about 30 employees. That's not just lean. That's freakishly efficient. So how does Telegram operate at this scale with a team smaller than most startup cafes? And what does that tell us about the future of work, AI, and the internet? Let's break it down. Telegram was created by Pavel Durov, who is basically the Batman of the internet. Private, principled, and obsessed with freedom. While other tech companies scale by hiring thousands of middle managers, Telegram never took that path. It kept its team intentionally tiny. They have no marketing department, no data harvesting division, no PR agency on retainer, just engineers and a mission. And the result? Telegram has been downloaded over 1 billion times, all without selling your data or begging you to turn on notifications. At first glance, Telegram seems like a non-profit dream. No ads, no subscriptions, no data selling. So, how does it survive? I mean, like... Do they make any profit at all? Premium subscriptions. Yes, just like your YouTube. Telegram Premium offers extra features, faster downloads, larger file uploads, voice-to-text transcription, and exclusive stickers, all while keeping the core messaging service free for everyone. And then there's the ecosystem. Telegram has launched a blockchain platform, Ton, and a crypto wallet called Fragment where users can buy and sell usernames, collectibles, and digital assets. This creates another revenue stream, without compromising privacy or injecting ads. On Telegram, ads only appear on public channels, not in your private chats. Telegram shows us what happens when you prioritize efficiency over headcount. It's not perfect, it's not always the friendliest platform, but it's resilient. And when you combine AI automation with a values-driven founder, you get a product that resists censorship, scales like a beast, and doesn't need to harvest your soul to survive. This might be what the future of tech looks like. Small teams, big infrastructure, and zero tolerance for bloat. The best part? It works. Like and subscribe for more Tan Combat training.